me clearly, America is not a racist country. Before I get into this story, we have seen what has gone on with CRT. You got white parents that want to be in a position to sue or push a teacher or administrator or somebody out that's attempting to teach history. But should Black parents have the ability to sue a school district that forces their kid to participate in a slave auction within a classroom? Why can't that be on the table? Why can't that be on the table where you can be sued for subjecting our children to something that's not going to benefit them? How is that benefiting them? But we know the psychological warfare. That's just part of it. You know, those of us that are wide awake and know what's going on, the psychological warfare that you try to play on our kids and get away with it. See, now they're not going to hoop and holler about this. But if somebody tries to teach a history lesson, here they come with their big ass mouth, right? But if some black child is pulled out of their seat and a teacher that don't look like them is trying to force them to participate in a slave auction in a classroom, we're supposed to deem that as okay. Them same parents that got their mouth open don't have nothing to say about this. See, this is why you're going to always keep getting slammed over and over and over because your hypocrisy, it seems to be like a, a deep bottomless well. So let's get into this story that comes out of Houston. And, and you know what, y'all? I also take notice that many of these type of stories often come out of the South. So this is Houston history teacher reportedly used a black student to discuss selling slaves during class. This is okay, but no, don't teach no lesson to their white child. They may feel bad. Give me a break, boy. No, no, y'all, y'all, you know, classless people don't care about how things look. So I, I don't expect that from you. So anyway. A press conference was held on Wednesday to call out a Houston teacher who reportedly singled out her only Black student during an inappropriate lesson on slavery. Tori Ards was joined by several community leaders after her daughter informed her of an ongoing racially charged interaction. So let's say you want to talk about slavery and auctions. Why does this have to be demonstrated by Black students? You mean to tell me you don't have the ability to teach something without acting it out? Then you're a sorry teacher. Maybe you shouldn't be in that classroom at all. That don't sound like no high IQ to me. So Ards first learned that her daughter's trouble began last Thursday, March 30th. The child claimed that her history teacher at, I think that's Kala Middle School in Houston, glamorized the Confederate flag, telling the class it had nothing to do with slavery. So you got a white supremacist teacher, a white supremacist teacher. And the history got it wrong. No, the history is telling the truth. That's why y'all trying to hide it. And Ards, the mother, she contacted the principal who apologized to the parent and told her it wouldn't happen again. So ladies and gentlemen, It only got reported and the teacher took it up a notch. So the teacher did it again. This teacher did it again. And the principal said it wouldn't happen again. So my question is, how is it that a teacher that wants to teach the history is ran out immediately, fired immediately. But this teacher did not get fired. 
still there in the classroom, it took it up a notch. I tell you what, parents down in Houston, you need to make sure this teacher is not only out of the school, but out of your entire district. Don't let them get a job anywhere in the district. So on April 3rd, the girl claimed her teacher took things up a notch. The instructor was accused of using a black minor as an example of an enslaved person on the run. So, you know, just know this is how they try to psychologically break your black child. That's all, you know, they can't really technically pull this off with all black children, especially parents that are, are on top of, um, you know, teaching their kids. You know, that's one thing, especially my father used to tell me if anything happens, you come to him and tell him everything. You know, he wasn't playing that mess. And yes, there were times when issues happened. My father went right up in them schools and would cuss them teachers out. He didn't care. Unfortunately, I see not in all, because, you know, we still got some parents that are on top of their game, but I still see way too many passive parents among our people out there. That's why when incidents happen like this, they're on the news crying. Y'all got to dry up them tears. It's racism has gone on for so long. It, it, you, you shouldn't be boohooing like that. And how does that look to your child when they came to you for an incident and you sitting there crying worse than they are? It, it, it just looks bad. So uh, the mother, instead of going back to the school to talk to the principal, she was joined by Quanell X, you know, um, and Candace Matthews down there in Texas. And a couple of other people also joined. And they claimed the teacher went on further to intimidate the same young black child using an analogy with her daughter about how she could be captured and how the teacher could take her to the South and sell her. And my, my thing is, this is no longer just the teacher. This is the mother and that principal that claimed it was never going to happen again. My question is, the mother, if you knew it was going up a notch, why did you keep sending your, your child in the classroom for this teacher to continue the psychological warfare on your child? She's trying to psychologically destroy your child. And my question is, you knew it happened the first time. You knew it happened a second time. Why did you keep sending your kid there? At this point, it is your fault. The principal is at fault because she reassured you about something that was not going to occur again. And it occurred multiple times again. So this principal is not competent in doing their job. Okay. So th this teacher was just seizing the opportunity to keep singling the black student out and just demeaning her in front of a class that didn't even look like this. They said this was the only black child in the class. Again, I put that on the parent. So he continued and said, we have teachers who are racists and bigots in the classroom in charge of the responsibility of shaping and developing young minds and want to rewrite history to desensitize slavery, human bondage, lynching, and deprivation of Black people in America and here in the South. So they said the teacher has since been placed on leave now that there is an open investigation. And my thing is, 
the school is still at fault because they let it go on for so long. And when the teacher was being defiant, they should have been shut down immediately. And I'm just, I want to know why this principal, when they realized it happened a second time, did not get that teacher out of there. Don't tell me they didn't have the ability to do that. If they could be placed on leave now, they should have been placed on leave after the second time. Why did the principal fail to do their job? Why did you tell the parent that you had it under control? And obviously that teacher was pretty much controlling them. And if you got racists and you got bigots in your classroom, then maybe you need to be cleaning house. But you know what, y'all, this is always a problem. Now, it, these things happen all over the country because America is a racist nation. But I notice whenever these auctions and stuff occur, it, when it occurs down in the South, it always occurs in these places where slavery was prevalent. So in this case, it's Houston. So the, Cy the Cypress Fairbanks Independent School District has since placed this, this demon on leave and they have an open investigation. We stand in solidarity with this family. We do not condone this. We do not, um, we are not complicit. Um, you, the teacher, do not need to be nowhere in nobody's classroom with those types of ideology. Absolutely not. We put our foot down on white supremacy. We put our foot down on trying to damage our children, Matthews added. I just think it's a travesty to the child. This is what I call real damage. That crap that y'all talking about CRT is nothing but a big joke. This is real psychological damage to a child, not that fairy tale stuff you're pulling out of your behinds and using your children as a shield in order to shut down history. That's not psychological damage. Try again. This is psychological damage. But, you know, if the mother would have been adamant about getting that teacher out and not putting her child back in, I think it would have made a, a bigger impact. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.